Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. Um, ever since I started uh, junk journaling, which I did, I think it was mid-April or beginning of April, um, I started looking at things differently. Wherever I go, when I go to the store, when I go to Goodwill, or when I throw away um, like cardboard boxes. I look at everything twice and my brain always is always working wondering what can I use this for? Can I use this for my junk journal? Can I somehow repurpose this? And I used to do the same thing when I uh, was trading um, artist trading cards and making them. Um, I had a face, I think in a year and a half, I made like 1,500 of those cards and traded them. Yep, I have a pretty big collection. And I also like used all kinds of things and materials that I could find for them. And that I think that's why I really enjoy junk journaling, because you can use whatever you have or whatever you find. You can ha use fabric, you can use jewelry, you can use paper. I love paper stickers like everything and because i have a lot of everything in my craft room this is the perfect craft for me so um i'm wondering how many of you guys remember these things here oops these are pretty old these are actually from the 60s may oh this one is from 73 this is from August 62. Um, these, for those of you who don't remember these, maybe you're too young, I don't know. Um, these are 35 millimeter slide frames. Um, and you can put them in a projector and look at those uh, photos or those pictures on the, on the screen or on the, on the wall. Sorry, my battery just died. <laughs> okay. Um, back to those slides or frames um, and most of them I think are cardboard um, I remember my mom she had some plastic ones and I used to play with them as a kid um, but yeah anyway so I found some of those on uh, I think eBay and I bought a whole bunch for cheap so uh, I found a few empty ones and most of them had actual um, slides in them. Actually, some of them are actually really nice photos from different national parks. So I, I got lucky. And I'm, I'm going to save the ones with the pretty photos. But most of them I'm going to use for crafting. And of course, my brain thought when I saw those, my brain thought, well, what can I make with those? And I love the fact that they're like little picture frames. And if you watched my previous video um, that I filmed yesterday, the flip through of my bird themed journal, um, I made little picture frames for my stamps. And oops, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here and decorated them those are actually not stamps those are just cutouts for my um i cut those out for my field guides and that's a stamp and i also made these guys this one is my favorite it's gonna go in my mushroom themed journal in case you haven't heard or you don't know me um i love mushrooms i don't eat them but i love i love everything mushroom this one is pretty and then here i just had like a metal charm thing that i stuck on there and i also um decoupaged some just this these were i don't like this one a lot um it was just some leftover tissue paper that i used but i figured hey why not try decoupage on these guys too? So, um, I had someone ask me how I made all these. So I figured why not do a little craft along or a tutorial on how you can use up those old frames or slide frames if you have any. If 
you don't have any, you can, or, and you want some, you can buy them either on Etsy or eBay. They weren't very expensive, so. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do first. Um, the simplest one. All right. I have to look for my um, stamps. Okay, let's see. First, I need a frame. Where's my empty one? This one. Actually, I think I want one of those white ones. This one's good. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys over here. And like I said, I'm working on a mushroom themed um, journal. So I'm gonna make some more of those frames. So um, if you use stamps or any, any images actually, you just need to find some that actually fit that format. This doesn't look too bad for this one. Now I just have to figure out which one I like. Uh, ah, so many. Hmm. This one? Nope, too big. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay can go to the side so what I did first I actually use this side because I like what I like the fact that it has the date or the year on it and what I did um, I distressed it first and I use this uh, let's see if this one actually works yep so just make it a little darker on the on the edge And then I can also use a brush. Just get a little um, little lighter in here. Okay, that's not too bad. And then um, for this one, I used this stamp. It's from, uh, let's see. It's a Tiny Toadstools. Uh, it's the Tiny Toadstools collect, uh, stamp set from um, Tim Holtz. I just love like uh, the writing. And then I'll just stamp a little bit here and stamp a little bit there. And I just messed up because <laughs> my mushroom stamp is like this. Let's see if I have another one that's sideways. And my cat is meowing outside the door. And my husband is talking really loudly to his friends upstairs. They're playing video games. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just use this. Doesn't matter. All right. So, uh, sometimes stamps are a little too small to actually get a good, like, to glue them on, on the back of this frame. Because they barely cover the, the opening. This one is not too bad. So, um, I can show you what I do when that happens. I just glue it on paper and then glue the paper onto the frame and then just cut around, cut around it um, like this. I just used an old book page that I had laying around and glued on the stamp. I shall do this. All sticky. 
Okay. I don't know why I like mushrooms so much. They're just pretty, I guess. Okay, so... Now I can just... what I wanted. Come on, go back in there. Really? <laughs> Stuck. Okay. Let's see if I can still in the frame. Yes. Come on, glue, come out. Don't be shy. And you don't want to put too much glue on it so it doesn't like um, ooze out on your stamp within the frame. Let's see. That should work. And then we're just gonna plop it on there. Sorry if my head gets in the way. I just wanna make sure that I center it. Oh, I can already see blue. Mm, that's not good. Let's see. Just gonna clean this up. I mean, the glue dries clear, but I don't want the shine in there. Yep. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut this piece off here. And then we get our little frame. And now I can just um, decorate it with... Let's see what we got. Um, some lace, maybe? Let's see. How about this one? Oh, that's a stretchy one. I don't like this one. Nope. Okay, let me find some, some stuff for decorating and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this little scrap piece of um, ribbon that works well on the side and I've got these teeny tiny flowers and got some thread okay so I figured I can just should I zoom a little get a little closer okay does this work yep Okay, I figure I'm just going to stick this one on here. Put a little flower, maybe a little label or something. Let's see. Ooh, now I can zoom out again. Okay. Uh, more mushrooms. Should I put a tiny mushroom on it? Nah, that's mushroom overload. No butterflies. Mm, there's some labels. They're too big. Oh, butterfly. What are you? Ah. Bird. Wait, there's something blue down here. That could match the teal bluish color in the background. Maybe. What are you? A bug. No bugs, please. Oop, there's some little labels. When I first got this, um, this ephemera from Tim Holtz, I was wondering what I'm going to do with these teeny tiny ones, but hey, I can use them on this one. Mm, maybe a red one? Nah, I'll figure it out. Let's see if we can do something with any of those. Now I gotta adjust my camera again. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Let's 
So I think I'm going to do this on here. Um, do I like this one? Uh, how about a specimen? But I don't want it to cover the stem, so I might go with this one and then stick one of those flowers on it. Maybe the dark one? Let's see. Haven't, oh, there's a glittery one. That's a good one. I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. Oops, I zoomed in all the way. Um, I usually buy flowers like that when they're 50% um, off. Mm, maybe. Just gonna glue down the ribbon for now. And I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac. I buy mine at Walmart. I think I paid less at Walmart than at Hobby Lobby. It's like a dollar less or so. Um, it's this way. Mm. Okay. Oops. Keep moving out of the frame. Okay. I'm just going to wait until it's dry before I cut off the edge here. Is there no glue? Nope, there's no glue. Yeah, so I wonder um, how many of you have the same same thing happening ever since you started junk journaling. You look and think about everything twice before you throw it away. I have so m I've Actually, I've wanted to junk journal for a long time and I have been collecting stuff and I just never had the motivation to get started because I didn't know where to start or how to start and I guess you just have to sit down and start somewhere it doesn't matter what you do just start okay so now I can cut this off okay now do I want this or not hmm so I got some leftover thread. Just adds extra texture. I love working with different textures. I try to add as much as I can because it adds lots of interest. So if I stick this on here, I can put this on top. Okay much. Okie dokie. Let's see what we can get. Just need to stick this down a little bit. Am I still? Nope. As you can tell, I'm still brand new to making videos. No clue what I'm doing. Okay. And it's really weird to actually talk while I'm crafting. <laughs> Oh well, actually I'm gonna use fiber tack. <sighs> Ugh, and now I got my finger in it. Zips. Oh. And the tiny flower. We're gonna use two flowers just because. So these frames, the more stuff you stick on them, the more bulk they add to your junk journal. But I actually like it. They're like a little piece of art and I don't know. I don't really mind if my journal is really thick like this one is a little gator mouth. Oops, I'm too far, uh, too close, but that's okay. And then I'm going to add this one. 
Nope, I don't like this one. Maybe a light one. This one should work. Yep. Oh man. Glue. Coming out the wazoo. I know it's so exciting watching me be gluing flowers onto a label. Okay. Here we go. It's just a really simple one. But I like it. It doesn't always have to be like super fancy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. I gotta save my stamps. My precious mushroom stamps. Okay, so the other one I want to do is one like those. Um, even though you can't really tell what the image in here is, but I, I like the fact that it's a little transparent. So uh, for this one, I used a little bit of lace, a tiny bit of burlap. And then when I glued the mushroom on there, I used some, uh, oops, where is it? Foam. So it's like even and it doesn't uh, look crooked. Okay, let's see. I need a frame. Let's take this one. Blue Ridge Parkway. Okay, you can probably hear my cat meow now. Because she has to be with me. No, she doesn't. Okay, what am I going to do? First, I'm going to put away my glues before they... All my glues are open because I never close them. Every time I leave my craft room, I have to check that I closed all to see if I closed all my glues because I'm known for letting my glues dry out. Oops. Okay. So your little flower can go over there. I'm gonna make this one. Do I want? Oh, I'm gonna like this one. I think portrait. I'm curious, has any one of you guys used these things for crafts before? If so, let me know what you used them for. Because I'm curious. I'm always excited to learn new things and get new ideas. I was so excited when our Goodwill finally opened, like a month ago. Um, and I went the first day, and it was the first time that I actually re got really lucky. They had so many awesome things. Lots of old books, obviously, because everyone had enough time, or so much time, to um, clean out their houses while they were in lockdown. Um, so yeah, I've been back a few times since um, they reopened, but they hadn't really added new stuff to their... Uh, inventory so I'm gonna wait before I go back and let them restock before I clean them out again <laughs> yeah I I buy so many old books it's yeah I don't even know what to do with them because I will have books until I'm yeah I will have enough books for the rest of my life okay so what do I want to stick on there? Let's see if I have... Should I do a mushroom again? I already have a mushroom one. Maybe a butterfly. I don't really do anything with butterflies. Let's see. Because... Mm, let's see. Flowers? I already did flowers. Maybe a butterfly. It's maybe too big. Ooh, that's a nice color. That's a nice one. How about this one? Mm -hmm. Or... Ugh, they're just getting bigger. Come on. Do I want this one? No. I cannot make up my mind. 
Okay, I'm gonna wait and see what I'm gonna use for the um, background. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me go find my uh, fabric and then, or my burlap, and then I'll come back. Okay, I found some burlap and some leftover lace ribbon, and I think I'm gonna go uh, landscape again because I don't, I don't like the portrait. Okay, so first I'm gonna put some burlap on there. Every time, well, not every time, but many times when I work with burlap, I have to sneeze, so I wonder if I'm actually allergic to that. Can you be allergic to burlap? I don't know. I'm allergic to a lot of things. Okay, there we go. And, mm, and my cat's still trying to get in. It's always the same with the cats. If you close the door and they're outside, they want to come in. And if they're in here and I close the door, they want to leave. So now she's staying out. Because you know, as soon as I let her in, she wants to leave again. Sometimes she wakes us like at four in the morning and I, she just wants me to watch her eat. She has enough food, she has enough water, she has everything she needs. Nope, she wants mommy to watch her eat. So, yay. Okay, I'm gonna do this and that. Hmm, what else can I put on there? It's kind of boring. Do I have any? cheap thread. I mean, yeah. Nope. Does this one work? Nope. Mm. I'm way out of frame. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. White. Boing. Beige, maybe. Nope. Nope. I have... No, I think I like this one better. No idea what I'm doing. All this pressure. Uh, okay, let's just go with that. Maybe I shouldn't be doing a butterfly. I don't know. Maybe do it this way. Huh, maybe. Okay, let's just glue something because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here until midnight. Oops, it's coming out the side. All right. Usually I find when I can't make up my mind what, like, what I want to do, I just have to do something and it'll turn out good or well in the end. Actually, now I'm gonna put some this stuff on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Ugh. Um, oh, I forgot my stamp. No, no, no. Okay. All right. So, wait, I was going to use this one. Can I use this one? Yes, I just need another color. Maybe I'm going to use a different butterfly, because this is just boring. Hmm. I don't have a lot of colors. Oh, this one. Orange and blue. <laughs> That's also orange and blue, but it's in... No. I'm losing mushrooms. Purple. Do we like purple? Now my other cat's trying to get in here. <laughs> Can you hear meow? You like green? No. You know what? I'm just gonna go with that one. All right. I actually meant this one. 
And then we need some of this. And I'm gonna use some of the brown one. Like that. Okay. Glue. And down. Now I'm just going to hold it a little bit so I can actually t grab. And I think it still needs something. What can I put on there? Do I have any more flowers? For some reason, I only have beige flowers on my desk. I don't want only beige. Ooh, I can use. Nope. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Let me go look in my stash and then maybe I'll find something. Okay, I found these things. Like little metal flowers. And I think I can just stick it on the corner. That's shiny and it stands out a little bit. Okay, now I gotta just put a lot of glue in this little hole here. So it actually sticks. And strips. That's number two. Where's the first one? And number one. And I think the next one I'm gonna do, the last one, I'm gonna decoupage. First, I'm gonna clean up my desk so I have room for my um, Mod Podge. Okay, I got all my Mod Podge stuff out. Um, you can use, I guess, any Mod Podge for this, um, the regular one. I don't know where mine is. I've been using this one. It just says hard coat on it. And it works works pretty well. Um, and I got my brushes and my little slides. Oh, this one is from radiology at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. That's interesting. I saw it said lymphoma on the back. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to use this side. Okay. So, um, you can... Um, Mod Podge, different things on that. I have a napkin. I haven't used my napkins in forever. And I have a big stash, so I just went in and picked one out that I like. Um, so I'm going to use this one. I also have a few leftovers. I make my own um, tissue paper for um, decoupaging. And these are just leftover ones. But I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. Just because there's not a lot of um, surface on those little slides. So I might not use those because they just have flowers on them. Um, I also have rice paper from Semperia. And I might use this one. Let's see. Let's get it out of the... Paper. That's pretty. Mm. I like this one. They're all nice. Oh, maybe I'll take this corner down here. Yep, I might be I might do that. Okay, so one Napkin and one with the rice paper. So let's see if that's the only layer. Let's see if I can get this layer off. If 
there's another layer. Oh, nope, it's only two layers. Usually they have three layers, but nope, this is just two. Okay, which flowers do I like? I'm just gonna plop this right in here. Okay, I can actually cut this, cut a piece off because I don't need the whole the whole thing. Okay. This should be nice. All right. Oof. All stuck. Let's use this one. Way too much. Okay. I think I want it like that. There's a little fly here. I don't know where that came from. And then we're just gonna seal the top. Okay. And once it's dry, um, I can cut out the, the center. I'm just gonna set this aside to dry. And now, I'm just gonna use this to wipe this off. Okay, now my precious rice paper. I wish they weren't so expensive. And I have a bunch of them and I never know what to use them for. I mean, I know what to use them for, but I don't know. Always take some... I have to always convince myself to just use them and not hoard them. Uh -huh. Can I cut it? All right, that's pretty. We went to uh, a yard sale earlier. We stopped on the way home and I hit the jackpot. <laughs> I got two big bags full of lace um, for six six dollars and fifty cents. So I was super excited. I'm gonna uh, show that in another video because I was so excited when I when I found it. Okay, that's what it looks like and I'm gonna dry those real quick and then I'll come back and we can cut the holes out. Okay, they're all dry now and now I can cut them out. Make sure I stay in the frame. I don't know yet what I'm going to put inside those um, slides, but you can, like I did with the other ones, you can put stamps in them, you can put little images if you like have any little scraps, or if you have any uh, nice illustrations from books. Like I did with the birds in my bird journal. Oops. Or just some some words. If you print out some little like quote or saying or something. I think I'm gonna leave mine empty for now. 
And then once I use them in one of my journals, I can just figure out what I want to put in them. Okay, so that's the outside part. And then for the inside, I'm just going to use my exacto knife. <laughs> knife. Let's see. If that actually works. Hmm. Nope. Oh, here we go. With these ones, you can probably glue any kind of paper on them and just cut the middle out. It doesn't have to be decoupaged. Or like doesn't have to be rice paper or napkin or or anything but I think those look cute got a nice little picture frame and then this one yeah so at the um, at that yard sale we stopped earlier um, that was the uh, the house or yeah, the place that had the yard sale belonged to an elderly lady. Um, so that's why I wanted to stop there, because I figured she had some really cool old stuff. And she actually had some old stuff, but I have so many things that I need to use and want to use. So I only bought the lace because I could not pass it on. Um, I couldn't just leave it there. Um, but she also had like an old, old board game, but I... My craft room is like so full and I actually have to reorganize it and clean up. So yeah, I gotta um, resist and not buy everything I find. It's really hard and so. Okay, so these are the little um, decoupage frames. So with these brown ones, you, can't, you can never really see the tissue or tissue paper or rice paper patterns. So for those, I probably should, for the next ones, I probably use um, just scrapbook paper or a book page or anything. Like, that's not transparent because, um, I mean, obviously, unless you, you like the look of this, you don't have to use uh, um, scrapbook paper. But I don't know, I'm not too, too big of a fan of this. I really like how this one turned out. I might might make some more with the leftover napkin I have. Because those are cute and it still says radiology. That's funny. Okay, so where are my other ones? The ones that I did yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Earlier. These are the first ones I did. Really? Oh, there they are. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with those um, <clears throat> frames. These are just the things that I've done so far. I'm also thinking about putting fabric on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, that's all I got for now. So I hope, I hope you like the ideas. And maybe if you have some of those frames, you can make some, uh, decorate some too. And... Uh, I would love to see what you come up with. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.